first seven steps and it takes you um, from the very first step, which is making sure that you have a hypothesis to test, right? So any idea you have, anything you think that you might be wasting time or money on, you turn into what they call a testable hypothesis, right? And to my mind, there are four elements to that hypothesis. The first thing is, what's your goal? Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? And you'd be surprised how many people are not clear on the goal, right? Is it revenue? Might not be. Is it um, sort of market position? Is it some press and some media and some coverage? But what's the actual goal? Um, and you have to be really clear on that up front. Then you ask yourself, um, you know, who, who are you solving the problem for? Right. What's the problem and who are you solving it for? And you have to be able to find a problem. OK, maybe a need or desire, but a problem need or desire is is ideal. Right. So you've got to find that and find who the problem, who you're solving it for, who are the beneficiaries, who are the people who you think um, are going to take the action, which is the, the next bit of it. So what's the action? And that step one is so important and actually could take the longest time you've got to work out that there is value um, for you to create. If you're not creating any value, you're going to produce something that people don't want or need. And so from there, we go through seven steps, which any researcher, right, would understand. So um, any person who goes and interviews people would understand how to do that. So from there, um, you're creating uh, the, you're understanding the biggest risks, right? And you turn your risks into um, a set of questions that you want to ask in step, on step two, step three, that you want to ask in step four to a specific group of people. And at every one of these stages, by the way, there are many, many um, pitfalls and many potential mistakes you can make. So even in recruiting the right people, you could find the wrong people. The whole thing is a waste of time. Your whole process could be a waste of time if you're talking to the wrong people. And then you want to work out how you're going to measure what they tell you. And then you go and interview them finally, and you start with five, as I've said before, and maybe you move to another five, but you start with five carefully recruited. And from there, you ask yourself the question, you stop. Should I carry on? Should I carry on and make changes? Maybe I've heard things I, I, I didn't realize, or should I stop? And it's so important to allow yourself to stop. And at this point, you've spent very little. You might have paid five or 10 people for their time, 30, 40 pounds, euros, whatever, just to speak to me, have a video conversation, for example. It's as simple as that, but that's really the only spend other than your time. Think about the amount of people who spend those two, three weeks giving money to developers and you know, really, really trying to uh, develop their brand. All oh, people love to develop their brand before they've tested their idea you know, it can be incredibly expensive. So you take these little simple steps, it's just customer interviews, um, but it's written from um, the point of view of experience of knowing how you can get the wrong answers if you're not very, very careful and you have to strive for neutrality throughout.